Good afternoon and a warm welcome from Singapore Changi Airport. I've just arrived here on Singapore Airlines A350 from Frankfurt and my next flight to Bangkok departs in 14 hours. So we have enough time to check out some lounges and to explore this unique and gigantic airport. And here we are at the Jewel, probably the most significant market of Singapore Changi Airport. The Jewel can be found in the middle of a gigantic shopping center with any kind of stores and is surrounded by a large indoor garden. I have nothing to add, just enjoy this awesome view. It's time for dinner, so let's check out the first lounge, which is the Singapore Airlines Crystal Gold Lounge in Terminal 3. The lounge offers various warm and cold food options. The drink selection is similarly large as the food selection. So you can find soft drinks, various coffee options, sparkling wines and also the local tiger beer. The lounge itself is rather small I would say, but as this lounge is only accessible with the Starlines Gold status, it is not really crowded, at least at the time we were there. Dinner is done and so it's time to have a little walk through the terminal again. And I can say exploring this airport is so much fun. You find new things at every corner. The jewel was only one of many highlights. So we also found a cinema, a slide for children to another floor, different gardens inside the terminal and also the butterfly garden which you can see here. All in all you can kill so much time just by walking through the terminals. But it's time to get some rest now. You can either book a room in the transit hotel or you do it like we do and just stay somewhere at a quiet place in the terminal. We slept only about 2 hours but as our flight is leaving at 7 in the morning it is time for us to move over to Terminal 2, where the flight is leaving from and where also the newer Chris Flyer Gold Lounge is located.
And here we are in the Terminal 2 launch, which is even a little smaller, but as I've mentioned, it is the newer launch. Breakfast starts at 4.30 in the morning, so let's check it out before heading to the gate for the flight to Bangkok. The flight is operated by an Airbus A350-900 with the medium haul cabin. There are two classes, the business class in the front consisting of 40 seats and the economy class behind. And I was very lucky and coincidentally got the seat 56 kilo assigned, which is an emergency exit row seat with endless leg room. Before we are taking off soon, feel free to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. But now let's take it to runway 02 center and enjoy the morning sun during takeoff. Let's have a quick view on the seat. On every seat a pillow is provided. On the left you can find a kind of controller to call the crew and to switch the light above you, as well as the button to recline your seat. Below the seat there is the entertainment screen, which I will show you later on. In the left armrest, there's the table. And that's it basically. Not bad for a two hour flight. And there's even a full food service on this flight. As it's breakfast time, you can choose between omelette with sausage and noodles with chicken. 
The cold items are more or less the same as on the long haul flight. The only difference is that you get wooden cutlery instead of real cutlery. Drinks are free of charge of course too. The entertainment system is a similar one to the long haul flights. So there's the flight map and also many other features like a lot of movies, series and music. Wow, what a scenic final approach here into Bangkok's Suvarnabhumi Airport. Have you seen all the stored Boeing 747 and A380s of Thai Airways? What an incredible view! But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.